Hello guys and welcome to Cosmo Play Star Sector. I'm Cosmo and I've heard your cries of wanting more commentary during these uh, playthroughs. So I'm gonna try keep voice at the minimum, just let you enjoy the actual gameplay. But I will chime in uh, every few minutes just to let you know where I am and what I'm doing. Uh, so you guys can have an idea of how I actually play the game. Uh, last we our, left our character, uh, we had three character points to spend. I was keeping them in reserve because I haven't, I wasn't exactly planning uh, ahead. I just did my basic plan of combat with the technology. Uh, but uh, I want, I made the plan up to level 50 now. Uh, assign skills upon other reports, etc., etc., etc. And um, these three skill points right now are going in navigation. Navigation is a very important skill. Uh, because I'm starting to reach a point where I got a large enough fleet it's a bit hard to catch up to what I want to kill uh, and the maximum burn level and the sustained burn bonus that I get from navigation level 3 uh, helps a lot with that. It also helps uh, because I'm now gonna start moving more outside of the core worlds so I have less full fuel consumption and less actual problems with the hyperspace due to the terrain movement penalty. So we're gonna do this level 3 and confirm. Also, we've been trying for the last two or three episodes to get back some reputation with uh, the hegemony because we got that little issue back in episode 4, I think, at Naraka, where I got my entire fleet pulverized because I accidentally didn't do two. Uh, transponder turn-ons and then I killed one destroyer and there we go I'm down to minus 50 something but I've been working back on it trying to find the uh, stuff that I can do it doesn't involve me going into actually hegemony worlds uh, which mostly is uh, either bounties uh, or uh, killing uh, pirate star bases so I've been trying to do that Uh, Fleet-wise, I have been trying to move over to more high-tech ships. I've been trying to figure out a new flow of combat with a dispatch. Uh, I'm probably going to keep a flock of wolves that I bought. Uh, I'm not really sure on the Shrike. I may just shell, uh, sell the Shrike later on. But I do want to have a nice core frigate set up because uh, E-War ends up being important later on in the game. Uh, and because uh, I want to get rid of like kites and you know maybe maybe even lashers uh, I need stuff that can handle taking those new fighter hits that we are seeing which are very uh, damaging especially to frigates Um, I'm gonna do some more comp snippers in uh, Mayasura and in Western East, um, just so I can get a better uh, flow of uh, 
news happening around the system, like opportunities, missions, and stuff like that. Uh, I've been doing more or less putting them haphazardly all over the place, uh, but I'm gonna try and focus on Persian, uh, I'm gonna try and focus on uh, Tritachion and that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be Masura and the Western News. Well, this is a nice surprise. Uh, heavy armaments, 18 of them, which counts out to about 5,000, 6,000, no, actually about 10,000 credits. Nice. So that's why I say it's uh, sometimes worth it to, uh, to do that and uh, check every little bit. Also, this trip also poses a uh, secondary role that I want to find better high-tech weapons, which apparently in 0 0.9 uh, there is an issue with finding good weapons and producing uh, good weapons. Uh, I've been literally working up with some pretty crappy stuff uh, on my ships, as you've probably seen, I've used mining blasters and that kind of stuff, which is totally no bueno.
a little note. Um, if you ever find that you need more vents, right, and you're at the limit, but you also don't have enough OP to use the, what's it, what's it called, the uh, flux uh, distributor, right? Um, it's better off that you can just go remove two vents, make the OP and get this on instead of using the two OP for not this, right? And now you have 60 on 60 and you have a better flux uh, dissipation just because you used uh, the, the mod, the hull mod and lower the actual vents on the ship. Um, these new trade missions that you get at the bar are really usually very good, but I still see there's some skewing going on where a, a bulk stuff like ore that requires a lot of quantity doesn't pay almost equally as much as something more valuable but less. I don't really get that why because uh, you're getting this stuff more or less for free. So uh, you could just run off with it, there's not a problem with it. But I'm still wondering that this is not a regular trade, it's not something that someone requires you to buy and then deliver, right? So the reward for this should be more or less based on uh, quantity and on distance. It shouldn't really be based on what you're actually transporting. This is a courier contract, not a, a supply contract. I'm gonna check my rent as well and then head on to uh, where was I supposed to go to um, put the other comp sniffer. And again, random salvaging, this is free stuff, free uh, supplies, free fuel, always worth it to check them out.
man, those Elgin fleets are fucking murder. Uh, they were that in 0 0.8 and that in 0 0.9 as well. They are more dangerous than actual uh, pirates when walking around hyperspace. Well, I just saw that the Condor um, with efficiency costs 6 to deploy, which is just one more than oh, a random wolf, and this is with two flight decks.
Also remember the, in the last fight that I still have talents on the condo. I should probably change that. Oh yeah, right. It had that low of a of a deployment cost because of those uh, mods, uh, of those D mods. Yeah, uh, D mods themselves remove part of your maintenance cost and deployment costs in battle, if I'm not mistaken. And I just removed both of them now, and I forgot that the main reason I was going to do that and put those fighters on this ship was because it was cheap to deploy. But well, it's a fighter, it's a good carrier anyway, so I'm gonna keep it. See if we can get away with it and not get a minus true reputation. I'm looking at the, the comp snipers and it says I have 9 and I have I mean, no danger of being detected. So I'm wondering at what point is there a danger? Because at this point I have roughly half the core worlds sniffed.
so I took a contract to uh, deliver some uh, heavy machinery to uh, some place and I don't have enough. I'm gonna buy more from Sintria, but I'm also going to Sintria because I haven't visited that place uh, in this playthrough. I just want to see what kind of weapons it has. as is welcoming as always. Yeah, I'm thinking of just selling the strike, it's really not that good and it's putting a large enough strain on my uh, maintenance that I just don't think it's worth keeping around. I'm also thinking about maybe uh, giving rid getting rid of the new one and getting a proper solution for storage, something that's a lot easier on the maintenance but still giving me a large enough car capacity, actually having a proper logistics things. Because I've I think I might have passed the point where I need to use the mule in combat. I can just uh, keep it back, get the, this officer a proper frontline ship, probably what I have right now, and I get something bigger. But we'll see. I'd really love a conquest because I have more or less all the skills required for the conquest that I need, but it's probably going to be horrible to get the weapons, specific the weapons that I need for it.
And yeah, I think I'm gonna do exactly that exactly right now. I think I'm gonna sell the mule and get the Colossus. But I will have to check about. Uh, I have to check uh, the um, the militarized hall mod. Let's do that now, because I uh, the Colossus, even though it's much better, it has two big issues: sensor profiles and sensor strength. So basically, uh, it's extremely easy to get seen at with it, and it's also not that good at seeing anything else. <laughs> so I want to see if uh, the mods for militarized hall or what was it. Let me try something something. If that removes the civilian penalties, I think that did. Yeah, apparently it does. So I'm gonna give that a shot and hope I won't have to deal with uh, a target on my back. Let's do a save game. Uh, just to note, this is so far has been an Iron Man run. I haven't reloaded at any point for anything. I may have taken a bit more time during takes, uh, during uh, streams, just so I can uh, properly make a plan for the next time, just so I don't keep playing uh, without any real plan. Um, so I, right now. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have to deal with the consequences, so let's just see. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this has 60 with 60, sensor profile and uh, sensor strength, it has 90 and 90. So, okay, a bit more, but more or less I get the Colossus and I am done with uh, everything that I need for uh, cargo storage for the moment. Uh, also, maximum burn 8, I'll have to get this up to 9. This is It helped me a bit, but I really want that 9 because right now I'm trying to have a 9 uh, fleet. Uh, for the longest time, actually, the Heron, because of reasons, uh, was at 8, and I was wondering why am I going so slow, and it was the only uh, ship in my fleet that was keeping the entire fleet back. So I'm not going to make the same mistake here, I'm going to put augmented uh, field drive engines, what was it called? Augmented drive field, yeah, this. Okay. Unstable injectors just so it can go fast when in a tree situation. More faster. And just stack capacitors. Oh, right, wait, 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 wait. This has a front shield. It has a front shield? Why? Uh, and I don't have the Omni Shield, do I? No, I don't have the Omni Shield mod. Let's go. Oh, I don't even have enough to the extent. Ugh. Well then, I'm just really hoping I will not be in a situation that I will need to leave this unfinished.
uh, why I put these light mortars is that uh, the enemy ships sometimes do consider these a threat, so just putting a light mortar there might consider it uh, enough so it actually stays back and doesn't go full hog in, start shooting at this. And also because it has this under range, may keep uh, like a hound or something at bay just a bit longer until it gets the courage to actually go in for the kill. Which can actually get me like 5-10 seconds extra on this, this actual ship in case we're retreating a uh, scenario. And yeah, I'm losing the shield that cargo holds on the mule, but oh well. Honestly, I'm not doing enough smuggling and under the radar drug hauls for me to care about whether this is shielded or not. Just for level 20 maximum on the right, right, right. So I got an even because I chose too many skills. I still would like for this to be better because right now I chose a skill, but this didn't come up again enough so I can upgrade it. And the next time I had probably something like this and this one, and I chose fine, let's get this one. And I end up with this kind of skill setup for this officer, which is okay, not perfect, it's good, but it's not what I would want it to be. And yeah, I know, I know this guy is useless in this ship, but it's still better than having it empty. I can get it up to 15 uh, when I get the skill, the combat endurance skill for the guy to get up to uh, 85, uh, which will do a good deal for the fighters. But I'm hoping again to pass my ship to this guy and then get myself something else. I would really love an eagle. Pirate Eagle or a Hegemony or Battle Group Eagle, that would be great. Griffins are pretty good too, these are actually pretty great ships, but... Mm. I'm a bit too... Close with one, yeah. Let's just stick like this for the moment. I have enough firepower to deal with most of the medium sized fleets I'm gonna see. Just keep it like this for the moment and see what else we can find uh, later on. Right, we were going to deliver some uh, heavy, heavy, right? Heavy machinery over to where? Oh, to, to the dawn, right. Show on map and let's do this. This is actually a great deal, but I'm kind of constrained. I'll probably come back here and see if I can get this on my way back. Wait, so I'm getting sold what? 100 units of 
Voltolian Lobster for 7,000 credits. Wow! Let's do a quick sweep, see if uh, anyone needs Voltolian Lobster. Perfect, at dawn, need 70. Wow, this is great. So we're already going there and now we're actually delivering a two, uh, a two pile load, great. I would want to check Walton and Crewer before I head out, but let's just do that and we'll come back later. For a second I panicked there because I thought I forgot uh, that uh, lobster is illegal. I think it's illegal somewhere, or isn't it? But it makes no sense for it to be illegal in Asconia. <laughs> close with fuel on that. <laughs> Note so. And yeah, maybe in full retrospect, it would have been smarter to put uh, extra cargo space by then on the mule and also put uh, the efficiency module on it. Also, I got the shielded things. But no, it's fine. Um, I bought the Colossus, I'm gonna deal with the Colossus. But anyways, uh, this has been mostly it for today, I guess. Um, I'll, check you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but again, I'm going to probably check Intel and check the map in between cuts and I'm going to have a plan for next time. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.